guys, Victoria Pinkbiner here with Seller Invite. Thank you for watching my real estate tips for sellers. And today I would like to talk about uh, getting your home ready for sale. Everybody knows that you need to do the fix-ups and the touch-ups and the cleanup before you put your home on the market. But what I want to talk about today is the paperwork. Number one on my list is a real property report, AKA survey. It's the legal size document that shows the dimensions of your lot, uh, the house where it sits, uh, the deck, any improvements on the property, not inside the home, but on the property where the garage is, the fence, all those details. Then you need to take that report into the municipality and get the compliance. Buyers are very knowledgeable these days. They are asking for those documents. They are asking for them to be up to date, which is actually the seller's responsibility to provide them up to date. And title insurance no longer really cuts it because if the buyers have any issues with any of the improvements in the future, it's a pain in the butt to deal with them. Either you have the insurance or not. Number two, is the permits. Now this is the permits inside the home. If you've done any kind of renovations or the furnace has been up upgraded, electrical has been upgraded, you need permits for that. If you moved a wall or two, same thing, you need permits for that. And I really suggest getting those permits ahead of time before you start the work or during you just basically before finishing the work because once the work is finished, uh, it costs you basically double to have everything inspected and you might not even get a full permit after the fact. Again, buyers are asking for those documents, so please uh, consider getting that done and ready uh, before you sell. Then, basically when you get an offer, you're ready, you don't have to scramble for those documents and it makes the whole process much easier. And last but not least, uh, my tip of the day is don't wait until the grass is green to put your house on the market because I find that by the time the flowers bloom and everybody else is waiting to put their home on the market because it shows very pretty, um, the inventory is usually a little bit higher, which means a little bit more competition for you, as well as I find buyers like to spend their first summer already enjoying the yard, so being there. Uh, so don't try to time the market and sell whenever you're ready. Thank you for watching.